Hello and welcome back. I'm on Duff, of course, and I am back on the Vanilla Woods server. There have been quite a bit of construction going on uh, here at Spawn Mountain. At some point we're going to have to give this a proper name, but that's a discussion for all the Vanilla Woods guys to have. Over here, we've got a new building. This is being done by Kyle, M88. I won't... Well, no, we'll go inside. Why not? I haven't been here in a while. It's a little bit, um, leaky. <laughs> That's looking good, though. That is a lot of bricks. A lot of bricks. He's been running around. I know Mally gave him uh, like a huge amount of uh, clay so that he can uh, build that. Because that, that is a lot of bricks to collect. Especially when uh, we've been staying close to spawn so that we don't spawn in a whole bunch of world. That has changed because, as you can see, with the boingy blocks, we are on the snapshot. This is currently 14W03B, and we got bouncy blocks. Yay! Um, so yeah, I got the whole server running on it. I'm going to craft myself one. And since this, uh, we're now on the snapshots, and because I'm sure none of you have seen snapshot stuff anywhere on the internet, we're only going to do snapshot stuff. To no, I'm just going to. That would be horrible. All right, let me. Okay, there we go. Ate all the stuff. Oh, no. I'm making a slight modification to this. Oh, no. Now I'm stuck. Did not make it easy to get in and out of here. Okay. Ghost56 bought that, uh, bought, built this. And I tested it, and, uh, it failed its safety inspection. And I spelled inspection wrong. That was pointed out to me. <laughs> so I know that. Yep, there we go. Ba -dump, ba -dump. And now let's give it a sp safety inspection. Sometimes that's a very little very loud piston elevator. You know what we're going to do? We are going to turn the block sounds down to maybe 30. There we go. But now we can do this. Yay! And we can get a safe fall down. We'll ride the elevator one more time. Here we go. Ride this. Try to switch. Sometimes you actually fall through the pistons. Here we go. This provides you a safe way out. Let's do, try it one more time here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. When there's nobody else on the line, I have no problem going up and down. But I've died on that elevator twice now. So, there we go. Uh, now it's safe. And also we can do this. And this is a neat trick. If you hold forward when you're falling, even in a too high space, you can just walk straight out. You don't have to do the super uh, bouncy, boingy thingy. <laughs> Which is cool. Safety inspection. Uh, past. Here we go. We're going to change this sign now. Safety. I'm the world's worst speller, so we're going to go... We're going to go with that. <laughs> I'm sure it's wrong. We're going to do that so that he knows it has now passed its safety inspection. Not that I'm like an inspector or anything, but you know. Uh, ouch. Uh, minor damage. Minor damage. That's, that's passable. So this takes you up to... Um, what I've been calling kind of the first shelf, or the first layer of the mountain, uh, which is just this high here. You can actually get up here by taking the stairs. Uh, this is where Ghost owns this plot of land, so that's... He built the elevator, so he made it go up that high. Over here we've got Palm's base. And from here you can see Malatrex has finished her building and put a roof on it, and there's some foliage up on top of there, nice and, nice and green. But we can also see that uh, from up here, actually, it's e a little easier from over here. We can see how, uh, if I can get on top of the fence, there we go, how ugly the top of this building is from up here. Normally, you're not worried too much about the way the top of a building looks because you're very rarely looking down on the top of buildings. But in this case, in, with the mountain, we are going to be looking down on this building a lot. So that is going to need work. But that is not what we're going to do today. Today, we are going to go... Oh, you know what? This is cool. I'm going to go back here and show you guys. 
Uh, I believe this is Kabi. Uh, Kabi Stars. He's got, like, it's a duck. It's a duck building. It's got a little beak and a little eyeball and little little wings sticking out. It's a duck building. I don't know why he built a duck building, but it's a duck building. He's got, this is, looks like a mushroom hut. It didn't look like a mushroom last time I was here, but it definitely looks like a mushroom now. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. There's also this tower going in under here, which is pretty cool. You can't see it very well from here. Make it. Nope. Okay. Whew. I'm going to have to go take the elevator again. It's got like a tower. I don't know how much of the space he's claimed, but he's built quite a bit of stuff back here. So, so yeah. I don't know how to get around to the front of the mountain. So, I'm going to go get up into the house. Our floaty block of houseness, and I'll be right back. Okay, first matter of business. Um, I have done only a little bit of work here around the house. Um, kind of caught a sneak peek of some of this stuff last episode. I finished out some of the balconies a little bit. Uh, placed an enchanting table. No, I did that on the first episode. I wrapped this around here, wrapping it around the, the rock. Which allows me to see over to you. Oh goodness, who's is that? Crimes place? I think that's Crimes House. And we are going to uh, communicate on where we want a bridge to connect from here to there, so we can get back and forth easily from his house to my house. I'm also going to build a bridge over to over to there somewhere. I haven't decided exactly where I want it to connect, and nobody has come and claimed any of this land, so. Uh, I guess I can make the bridge go wherever I want, and if somebody builds there later, they're going to have to kind of deal with it. Uh, I have... I'm working on a design for the super cooker. We're not going to do that today. We're going to add the top of my building. I have added a floor uh, that is uh, the new dark oak and stone... or new-ish. It's not new. It's one... we've got to talk 1.8 terms now. The old dark oak wood and uh, stone slabs. But... As I've been walking around here quite a bit, I've kind of realized that the walls are not the prettiest. They're not the best thing I've ever built. Uh, not the worst, not the worst, but they're, they're not great. I don't like these. Uh, occasionally, little sections, it's okay. Like, um, like up there, that's fine. That, that looks good to me. That all looks good. But these huge swaths of, the, of these vanilla, this, I call this vanilla wood. Not to be confused with the server name, but there you go. That existed before. The server did. Yeah. These huge swaths kind of not so much doing it for me. Uh, and I want to inset them. I want to inset them. But of course, the only kind of vertical block we have is trap doors. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any handy, so I won't, I won't, I'm not going to bother building any. Uh, well, kind of. We also have item frames. Which... Uh, fill up the space. We also, of course, have paintings, which can fill up the space as well, but I don't like any of the painting art, um, which we'll talk about that in a second, but um, we've got item frames. And item frames and maps, they do create a really neat um, design. or uh, they, they fill in a wall really well, I think. So, I'm going to make myself nine maps, and I got, oh, Wait, 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 wait. Paper goes all the way around, right? Like that. There we go. And we've got eight. One more. Makes nine. And I'm going to keep them their small, their smallest version. I'm not going to make them any bigger, so I don't need any more of this paper. Get out of my inventory. Get out of my life. I don't want you anymore. Okay. And we are going to make uh, a, a three by three chunk map. So there's map number one. We're going to make sure they all get filled in. I don't know how much space that's going to cover. Well, it covers quite a bit of the space of the mountain. Uh, what is that? What is... Oh, I can't point to it. Oh, I put it on the wall so I can point to it. What is that? I don't know what that is. Hmm. Interesting. I like looking at things in these maps because they look so cool. It's also really dark, so let's light things up. You know, the whole top of this looks is rendering in and it's gray, but it's um oh this is a whole rock area, huh? 
All right, let's take it. Oh, don't do that. No, take it out. Take it out of the frame. There we go. Let's go ahead and jump down our quick fall. It's going to be night time. The best time to go running around the world is night time. <laughs> nice and safe. So you can even see the park. Oh, yeah, no. I was like, can you even see the park on here? It's this huge green swath of land. So why is that all gray? Because it's all greenery. All right. Now, I also did this while we were gone, which weighs towards the next map. Across the river. Okay. I also did this while we were gone. I did do the terraforming. And I like it. I like it a lot. I think it looks pretty good. Built a little bridge there. This is not terraformed. This is back into original design. But there was that wheat farm, that kind of that terraced wheat farm. So I kept the spirit of that design. So I thought it was a neat idea. But uh, I built it up a little bit more, added some retaining walls, a little bridge for the river, and then a staircase over there so you can get up and down and go across the retaining wall. So I think that's pretty cool. Which way is it? Out that way. All right, so I need to fill in all of these maps, but it's going to take a minute. Um, so while I do that, I wanted to ask you guys, I don't like any of the posters. Any of them. I think all the posters are ugly. So, the question I ask is... I don't like using texture packs, but is replacing just the poster texture so that I can have different posters, is that is that a, a good idea? <laughs> Would that bother you guys if I changed the, the posters and then used my own custom... Uh, or I guess they're, they're painting, so whatever. Change the painting textures and then uh, had my own custom paintings. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It might be might be kind of lame to to cheat that way and not be building with the normal uh, the normal posters and having to deal with them. Uh, but I just think I just don't I just don't care for any of the any of the poster textures. I think they're all weird and lame. So yeah, there's that. But either way, whether or not you think that's a good idea, um, I would like to get... Oh! Bad. Oh, jeez. Blowing up the world, not paying too sore, I'm running. Whether or not you think I should change the posters, I am looking for pixel art. Flat, two-dimensional... Minecraft pixel art, as in, can be built in Minecraft with, with existing blocks. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why yet, but if you have pixel art uh, that you are willing to let me use, or you have a link to somebody's pixel art that is, says anybody can use it for free or something, please send those to me, and I would. I'm going to start a little collection for a project I have in mind. It's going to come around later. Let's see, am I far enough north now? Yes, I am. Let's make another one. I'm keeping the central map on here. Just Oh, no, I'm not, apparently. I, that's not a centralized map anywhere. Whoops. Should be map zero. I was the first one to make a map. Yeah, so there's a central... I'm keeping the central map on there, and then um, I walk around it, basically, is what I'm doing. So now I need to go that way. There we go. Let's, let's not get the jitters. Okay. Jitters are gone. Couldn't have done this at a more safe time of day. Alright, now it's going to be just a bunch of running around terrain and having to deal with... Wow's Wow's our punch bow. Drop it? No. Darn. Me having to deal with monsters and, you know, fighting my way around, so... I will let you guys go, and I'll be back when I've got all nine of these maps all filled in. Alrighty, all the maps are complete. So we're just gonna wrap them around. I love doing this part. Oh, these look so good. What? Oh, that one. How did that one not go in straight? That's weird. Oh, it just looks kind of dark, so we might need to do figure out some sort of lighting situation for it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Mally's house looks so big on here <laughs> compared to all the other little constructions you can see. But most of the buildings are like attached to the side of this mountain right here. So it's kind of hard to see them. 
but you can definitely see out here you can see uh, here goes here's my building my floating block uh, which you can't tell is floating but you can see the floor pattern and then you can see out here this is crimes and all the way out there that's M Dog's house we didn't go out there or look at it you can almost see it the outline of it from the top of my floating block um, but not not quite not very well anyway and then all the way down here is Kyle so that's how far spread out we are um, from Kyle to M dog they're the ones who went the furthest but nobody went like this way um, I'm a little bit upset that somebody decided to desand right here so close like they're like oh, I'm in the desert okay time to desand instead of like going out further Somebody also did it right here. Uh, you can see a little bit of de de desertification and, and a little bit over there and over there. But that's all right. I mean, that's part of playing on multiplayer server. You don't get to pick everything. If I wanted to pick everything, I'd be playing single player. I don't know what this is. That looks like a tree farm. Maybe it's Kyle's tree farm. I don't know. Maybe it's just an interesting set of colors. But yeah, I love these maps. I love these wall-to-wall -wall maps. They're so awesome. Okay. Anyway time to get my inventory back together. I did get a pick. You can see I combined some picks together. Efficiency 5 on breaking 3. Awesome. Uh, I also got a fortune pick. This one Amali gave to me. She's trying to get Silk Touch, so she's done a few uh, picks. and So she made that one and didn't like it because it didn't have Silk Touch on it, so she sold it to me for 3 diamonds. Um, but I don't want to have fortune. Yeah, I do have fortune. S somebody wanting me to fortune something? I don't know. Windows are stupid sometimes. I don't know. Windows is stupid sometimes? Is it say is? Oh, Windows is. Okay, yes, as in... Okay. The product, not the object. Okay, so... I think that looks pretty good. I need to do something with this side. Uh, yes, I am. But I'm not sure what, and until I get these chests out of the way, I'm not going to really worry about it all that much. I do want to make a whole bunch of chests, because that's what the upstairs is mainly going to be. Uh, chess. I could have done that faster way. Oh well. Uh, I get 25%. Because he's using my pick. I have to repair it and all that. And so, the question is, should I put the chest like this? Like that? Or should I put them like this? Uh, like this, and use trap chest here in the middle. But see, if I do it that way, it's going to be really crowded. A diamond. <laughs> A diamond. 25% or you can make your own fortune pick. <laughs> it's my, my fortune pick. I'm not just gonna give away stuff. Come on. I had to find those diamonds. And I had to trade them to Maltrax for an enchanted pick. That took work. Um I don't know. I'm into the hallway. I bought it for diamonds. Oh, that's gonna bother me, it's backwards. Oh, I paid for the pick. <laughs> it's fair. It's very fair. All right, got some drama going on. Drama, drama. Uh, might do that for the end of the hallway, and then put a put something like this here. Low quality diamonds. No, regular quality. They're low quality. I'm just wondering how much space I have here as far as the pattern good work. <laughs> She's complaining that she got a bad in chow for my diamonds. That's awesome. So I can put a trap te chest here. And we have three. And we'll go three by... I don't know how high we want to take this. Three by three maybe. Double chest. This is going to be my main storage for here at spawn. So I want to make sure I have enough and I'm not under... I'm not under designing the storage space here. But I also don't want... I hate like when you walk into storage rooms and like super, super cramped. I hate that. 
It's like, if you can't get around, it's not worth, not worth having anything there anyway, if you can't even, like, if it's hard to get to. Alright. So, yeah, that's, that looks pretty, I think that's going to give me enough space. I think that, that's quite a bit of chess. I'm not going to have any redstone here, so I'm not worried about the trap chest getting in the way of anything. I'm going to need like a bazillion more chests, though. So, I'm going to get a bunch of chests, lay them all down on the ground. And I'll check back with you here in a moment. Okay, so this is what I kind of landed on. This is going to be kind of my main storage. So, we've got lots of storage in here. That'll work pretty well. I've got a space for bulk storage. So I might like label this one like cobblestone, you know, dirt, netherrack, things like that. Maybe do uh, a space for a wool. Like, set up one for all the different wool colors. But this is five across, which is which would mean uh, ten, fifteen. So all of them wouldn't even fit in the, these double chests, unless I doubled them up, which which I could do, which is fine. But this should provide me with enough storage space for here at the spawn. And uh, I just want to kind of roof it in. I think something like this will work great. The stairs will allow me to still open these top chests. While at the same time I can keep the roof a little bit lower. Because this building's starting to get a little bit taller than I really planned on. And I mentioned before, I want to terraform and make it look like... There's only a few small pieces of the of my house that are sticking up out of the top of this uh, top of this uh, floating rock. I guess is the best thing to call it. Uh, I'm gonna get some stone. I'm using stone bricks here because you kind of can see behind these chests if you're like, hmm, what kind of block is that back there? You can you can tell. See if I if I were to build it with say dirt here, you can be like. Oh yeah, you can kind of tell the dirt's back there. Here you go. You can really tell the dirt's back there. Which is no good. I want it to be all matchy-matchy. So we're going to have to use stone bricks behind the chest. Now this is now um, a block that you're not going to be able to... You know, if I build here, you're not going to be able to see this block from the inside. So I'm going to cover that with dirt. And I'm actually going to cover this layer with dirt. So I'm going to be putting uh, like grass and maybe some trees so I don't have to run all the way down over there and come all the way back up if I want to you know, collect some wood while I'm here or whatever. So I'll have maybe a little space to grow trees and I'll have just a little bit of greenery to make it look nice, look better on the map. Instead of just like a, a gray block, it'll stand out on the map, which will be good. There we go. So... Yeah, we'll cover that with, with dirt. I'm going to figure out how to how I want to cover up this one. Probably pretty much the same way. We'll set all the visible blocks. Uh, well, that one's not visible, so we could use that as dirt if we wanted to create it for the stylistic purposes. These are visible blocks here. Anywhere that's not visible on this island, I have been filling it up. I've just been filling it up with, like, cobblestone. Uh, so I'll fill that up with cobble here in a moment, because I don't want any dark spaces up here, and uh, it's it's easier to fill than it is to leave air space. So, so yeah, that's the that's my that's the theory anyway. Now for these ones, the question is, how do I want to do that? Probably want to keep the same style going around like that. Uh, I guess the real question is, do I want to have um, the the lip of the stairs here? Or should they go back one more? Ooh, that got dark in here. I knocked down all of my, my torches and then walled the area up. Let's make some more stairs quickly. And see see how do we want that to work. Let's see. That should be good. Oh, that did not stack. Stack. There we go. There we go. Okay. Alright. The ladder is here. I think the ladder is going to stay unless I build a staircase. Uh, I haven't decided if I want a staircase or not. Probably is what I'm leaning towards. So I'm going to set up this side. We'll do that far like that. And then we'll do this side 
Uh, we'll do differently. We'll do it the other way. That's just temporary helping block. So this would be the other way, is to actually come up over this thing. And then, I don't know, half slabs just for the visual. Because then, I again, I can cover this with dirt, and I can cover this with dirt, and the chest will still be able to open. So. Let's go look. Oh, wrong floor. I just need to get around the platform, yeah. Okay, so the question is, is this better, or is that better? I think I like this better. And these chests can still open since they're set with half slabs. So I'm going to go ahead and place a whole bunch of dirt and get this rim of wood uh, stairs set up all the way around. And then move on to the next step. Alright, so I got a whole bunch of dirt placed. I actually had to go get more dirt because I ran out of dirt. Uh, yeah, actually. There we go. And I've just been kind of trying to create a shape that looks like it could have spawned naturally. Obviously this is not going to create something that would exist in the real world, but um, something that maybe we could suggest that Minecraft spawned by itself uh, with dirt up on top of it, or like a chunk of a spawned Minecraft world that has uh, been kind of pulled out of the ground and is now floating up in the sky. That's the idea. But what I do want to have on top of this is a little hut. And so I'm going to just kind of build not very big. That's that's plenty wide. Five wide plus the walls. That's plenty big enough. I don't want it to be very large. I just want it to be a nice simple uh, little hut. So we'll go up here as well. Did I just make that square? I think I just made it square. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, I just made it square. That's fine. Simple Minecraft huts are often square. This is the one side here that I'm having problems with. I already built the dirt up quite a bit. Well, maybe I could go up higher. Cause I think Minecraft worlds you can spawn with like up to four layers of dirt on them, so maybe that's not a problem. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That actually could come up on this side too. So, looks like I've got a little bit more space for playing with it. I extended the ladder to go all the way up so I at least can get out of the building and can get up to the the hut level, I don't know, the the level with the level where the entrance, the generalized entrance is going to be. Um, I say that because it's only I don't know how much we're actually going to go up to this top level. Uh, unless I find some, figure out something useful to actually put up here. Um, oh, hang on, I got a phone call coming in. All right, I'm back. Phone rings, you gotta answer it, right? Otherwise, why do you own a phone? I don't know, something like that. Uh, I'm just. It's gonna be a very simple, simple building. I don't want it to be super. You know, designer or whatever. Uh, I also want to match the uh, balconies that we've got going on down there. Since these this will be the outside exposed edge of the building, we want the whole building to look like a cohesive piece. So I'm using oak wood, even though it's kind of plain and been done a million times. But, um, like I said, you know, it's a plain little house. Nothing super fancy. More. That's plenty tall enough for this house. And we're just going to do. I think we're going to have a little bit a. Oh, how does this roof look? Uh, stripity. I don't know if I. Look, <laughs> no, that looks, looks good. I don't, I don't know. Stripity? I don't, I'm sure that's not spelled correctly. <laughs> uh. Let's do. You know, I'm just gonna kind of. Uh, oh, come on! I'm gonna have to get out of block. There we go. Go out and around. Gonna have to make more stairs too. Oh, really? Really? Why? Why? 
why in the world of stairs would it do that? There we go. I think I'll put glass there so I have a little space I can, I can come up here and have a nice little space to look out on. This is going to be the entrance, so I actually will need to do something different. Uh, I probably maybe shouldn't have knocked that out yet. Nope. nope. Place. There we go. And I'm going to have to move this. We're going to change this as well because the door sit right there in the middle. That's good. Something like, uh, yeah, sure, why not? That looks fine. Then we'll go across here, like that way. Yeah, sure, that's, that looks like, that looks like it was done on purpose. <laughs> oh, this will be the actual room. So, uh, I'm using oak here since I used oak for the roof and the rest of the uh, first the storage room floor. Ooh, but that is that is ugly. Nope, I'm not using oak. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something different with that. <laughs> All right, um, we're running a bit out of time, but I do want to finish this build. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick out a bunch of blocks and get them placed down at least get at least get it enclosed so that the whole building is uh, enclosed and the whole building this these don't count uh, from the outside air so I'll be right back all right small basic hut if you were to be up here and you saw it you'd be like oh just you know small little crafting bench and all that mm, little stair you know mm -hmm. Ladder down, ba bam, lots of storage and ta da, kitchen and bedroom and all that stuff. So, and a map of the area, which is awesome. But this area still needs yet to be left to be done. So, I'm gonna do that. And while I do that, <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about another little place that we've got going on. I really wanted to finish this house because I didn't want to leave spawn until I had completed my spawn house <laughs> uh, so yeah but I wasn't also we couldn't I wasn't really feeling rushed because we kind of all agreed that we wouldn't leave until after we got the snapshots installed so the new blocks were available to us uh, those new stone blocks and stuff and uh, we didn't have to you know just generate even more terrain just to go find uh, those new those new stone blocks but the new snapshot has come out. Am I standing in that block space? Yes, I'm okay. So now, uh, actually, since we installed it last night, for me, uh, last night, Palm and myself and Malatrix, it's myself, my wife, and my brother, all went out and found ourselves a place to live uh, out uh, in the wilds of the of the world, uh, where we're going to build a large base and all of that good stuff, but we can't think of any great ideas. So uh, even though we might come up with our own before this episode gets up, I'm interested to hear what you guys might suggest for us. Uh, do you guys have any ideas for builds that might be interesting, large, challenging, and creative? Uh, those are those are the kind of the criteria I'm more working from. I want it to be interesting. I want it to be large, um, unique, unique as well. Kind of unique ideas and concepts, uh, and uh, something chal challenging is for me. That's, that'd be fun. Um, so yes, let's see. Let's use. Let's try. Let's try this. I don't know. Uh, bonk 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 bonk. Let me out. Like that. There we go. That closes that up. Okay. No idea what that looks like, and I'm not gonna find out. <laughs> not today, anyway. Anyway, that will do for now. Yeah, we got a little house sticking out in the. That's, that'll work. I like it. Finishing touch. One finishing touch, and then I gotta say goodbye. I did replace this floor with um, crafting tables because you never know when you're going to need a crafting table, especially when you're working with, like, chests and things. Oh, yeah! Door stack! 
Sorry. I got that made me excited. Uh, that way. And I just placed another door inside. <laughs> door stack now, and you get three for making one. Woohoo! Now I have two extra doors. What am I going to do with those? Uh, go prank someone, maybe. We're going to have to work. There's still a few odds and ends places, but I can pretty well say that this is um, done for now. Uh, I'm happy with where we've what we've done with it. We've decorated it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and off camera reorganize these chests into that storage area upstairs. At least what it is that I'm not going to load up on a, a, a donkey or a mule and take over to me, take over with me to the new area. We've done lots of caving, we're collecting lots of resources, so hopefully we should be able to, uh, we should be able to get into fun builds pretty quickly. Um, we found some pretty cool little spawner situations, uh, so we might uh, have some neat systems that we can build because, uh, wow, we found a lot of spawners. <laughs> I'll just, I'll leave it at that. We found, we found a, a lot of spawners. Fortunately, they're not all right next to each other, but, uh, you know, there are some, I think, some good opportunities for uh, mob farms at the new base. So yeah, give me ideas, uh, styles. Styles is what we're looking for, not like projects. Don't say like, oh, build a gold farm, because, you know, yeah, we'll do that. But uh, I, what I'm interested in specifically is in uh, what what kind of style should we build in? Uh, so, so I'm just trying to close this off as we chat. Something like, uh, I don't know, maybe just... There we go. Now we got. Now we got to that. <laughs> so, uh, drop those in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm Mondef, and I'll see you guys next time.